Hello, hello, hello. I hope everyone has had a great day. So funny with the weather. Sunny, then rainy, then like disgustingly humid, then rainy, then sunny. It's crazy. I'm Shannon and I'm with Paper Delights and thank you so, so much for joining me this evening. Um, I'm a paper craft artist, I guess you could say, and a stamping up demonstrator. So I know often in the videos that I've been doing, I've been focusing on cards, but I wanted to show you some of the things that I do off, <laughs> off uh, Facebook Live. Um, when I talk about being paper crafts, I love anything to do with paper. And so like, these are some of the crafts that I work on. Um, I don't usually post them just because they're too time consuming. Um, but this is one of the things that I've been in the middle of creating for a friend who loves sunflowers. So I discovered that I could create these petals. Um, I've got a uh, yellow vellum, three different shades of yellow. And I discovered the punch for the ornaments I could use to make um, the petals. So hopefully my friend will still be surprised when I give it to her because I know she sometimes comes on to watch. But uh, so this is a, a plate, a charger plate from the Dollar Tree because I love the Dollar Tree. And then I got these backwards. I know. Don't, don't, don't message me and tell me. I find these sticker things um, often and then I'll cut up the pieces that I want and then I put them on only because I haven't yet been able to find anything out of paper that would be big enough to put on here but so when I talk about you know that I like to do paper craft that's sort of the kind of thing that I like to do so if ever you think of something that you're interested in or you see something on Pinterest and would like let me know because I love to create so Today we are playing with the Forever Fern set. Beautiful, beautiful set. I love it. All the greenery. So pretty. The paper is so lovely. Um, so many different shades of green. The, the dies. There's even dies that you could cut these out. Stamps and dies. Like, I love the, the dies because you can either stamp the image and then the dies will cut it out or 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 you can use the dies and make your own um beautiful leaf leafery type things so i use a lot of those kinds of things in the cards so beautiful set gorgeous set i loved it so that is what we're going to play with today. So, our very first one, I kind of started already, because this will be one of the cards that will be part of our card buffet that will be posted this evening. So, this is a just a strip of the designer series paper. See, I even wrote down, oh my goodness. I wrote down the dimensions. So the first piece is one and a half and then the piece behind it is one and three quarters. So often, like I said, when I design some things that are newish, I tend to write down behind just to help me remember. So this will be one of the uh, cards in the card buffet for this month. So you will receive the paper, you'll receive a couple of sprigs they might be different, slightly different colors. And a sentiment, or you can put your own sentiment. So this was sort of my idea, kind of a thing like that. And then I was like doing sort of like a, a loopy thing with the, with the gold. And we'll sort of tuck it in behind. All right. So let's put that together. So we're going to put this on here. Oh my goodness, that 
one stuck to my finger. I'll trim off the bottom there afterwards. No worries. I think I'm gonna have to put it more on an angle. I think I'm gonna have to move that glue dot down. I am a hot mess today. Like a hot sticky mess like it is outside. <laughs> Hilarious, I know. So I'm just sort of layering, layering up the greeneries and stuff. And then this is gonna go over. So when you get yours, you can either put the greenery behind, underneath, you can trim it if you wanted to. Sometimes we've done that. We've trimmed some of the, of the greenery to make it fit. So you can sort of set that up any way you like. So totally, totally up to you. And then we'll put this piece on. Like that. And I think I need some glue dots in behind to sort of hold it in place. There we go. Just being careful it doesn't go off the edge. There. And then for this one, I'm going to put some dimensionals on it. And like I said, I was going to sort of loop this up a little bit. And I'm going to put one little blue dot to sort of hold it in place. together like so. I might have to put another glue dot on. Yeah, I think so. Maybe one more. Just to sort of keep everything. There we go. You can even sort of Move it over a little bit. Am I straight? Can't even see. All right, there you go. So, thinking of you. So, this card will be in the card buffet. You can have this sentiment or a hello, or you can put on your own sentiment. And let me grab some gems. What we got. got a green one. There we go. There. Really simple. So that will be part of the card buffet. All right, the next card for tonight is this one. So, I, I like I said, I love the jar punch. So I've got this really pretty paper that kind of made me think of like sea glass kind of a thing and wrapped some of the white sort of baker's twine kind of a thing. And my idea is that we're going to create this greenery coming out of the jar. But first, we'll put this white piece down. So this is embossed with um, dainty diamonds. Like I said, I have other embossing folders, but these three are sort of my favorite. And this is an up-down card. All my technical terms. 
So I think I'm going to pop this up just so it'll make it easier to sort of tuck things underneath. Hi guys. Sorry, I didn't uh, I didn't see that you were there. Hello. Thank you for joining me this ap this evening, this afternoon. Oh my goodness. It's one of those days. So we're going to pop this one up a little bit. I'm missing the ocean. You'll see the other card. I'll show you. <laughs> the other card that will be in the uh, card buffet this month is this one. Isn't that beautiful? So it made me think of, of the ocean, the, the blues and stuff like that. So that'll be in the card buffet as well. I'll show you later. Getting ahead of myself here. Ooh, so exciting. All right. I had so much fun designing the cards for the card buffet. So... So I've got some, I went some with the, the subtle colors, the more subdued colors, as I, uh, like I said, it made me think of the ocean. I'm really missing my ocean right now. I was supposed to be on the ocean, but this darn virus had some different plans, but hopefully we'll be able to go next year. So we've asked for them to just move the the monies that we paid over to next year. So hopefully things will be safer for us to head over next year. But in the meantime, I'm still longing for my ocean. A friend mentioned doing a beach day and I am like all over that. So ready to be on the beach right now. I've been thinking about going to the beach in the evening because then you can have dinner most people I think would be going home to have supper when you're arriving have a nice meal on the beach watch the sunset how nice does that sound so I'm just sort of layering the cards up this one has a little bit of a, a bobo it didn't uh, it didn't go through the, the machine very well but that's okay we're gonna cover it up and sometimes I think uh, people don't look that closely to see if it's got an imperfection or not. They just think it's nice that they're getting a homemade card. Isn't that pretty? I hadn't thought about doing pink and then I saw someone else do pink with the forever greenery and I was like, oh my goodness, that's so pretty. It's so soft and I just loved it. So it'd be like a pretty wedding or a baby shower or something like that. And then of course we'll add one sprig of silver. Like that, there. Now um, in the card buffet, it will come like this, but I was going to put this on. Um, I will send, I can send the little, card, the little tag, but if you want to have uh, your own greeting you by all means can put your own greeting on I tried for you but that didn't it didn't look right to me so I'm, I'm with just because just because just because everyone should have a card just because there isn't that pretty I just think that's so pretty nice and simple so these two, I believe, will be in our card buffet that will be available to you. I will post it all this evening. All right. The last card for this evening I wanted to show you. I found this super cool design. So basically, it's a regular fold. So what I mean by that is you get your paper and you fold in half and then what I've done is I've cut down the middle so I cut down the middle halfway and then I cut off I know it's wild and crazy and then this piece will go inside so that people can write this piece is going to go on here yep and then this is going to go see I kind of had ready on top like that and then it's going to look really, really cool. So 
I just thought that was a, a neat, I hadn't seen that sort of different kind of card fold idea with part of it missing. <laughs> I'm always looking for something different with the cards because there's only so many combinations you can do with your paper, right? So always looking for different combinations. So this is my card here. Um, but we'll glue it up. I just wanted to see how it all looked. So so again, this is, um, what is this? Just Jade, I think, or Pretty Peacock, can't remember. It's nice, it's kind of like a, a blue, a blue green. There we go. And then what I did was from the stamp set, all of these beautiful stamps. And we're gonna be making some cards tomorrow with the stamps themselves. But what I did was I stamped a bunch on a piece of paper and then I put it through with the with the dies. And I did different shades. So I have, you know, some spruce, some all old olive, like different shades of of greens. And what I usually do is I do a whole a whole wackadoodle of them. So then I have a bunch to to come back and pick from. I did some with even with a little bit of yellow just to add um, some some different uh, colors and stuff. So that's what I often do on the weekend is that when we're gonna do, I do a whole bunch of the elements so that we can pick and choose. Now I must admit this tray that I have here, I've done before and I still use a lot of the elements from it for other cards, right? So, all right. Then this card, this part is going to get glued down, but I wanted to put the ribbon on first. So let's see if I can tie it up again. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I can be talented enough. I have to find it's not quite, I can't quite do it tight enough. So. I almost need one more finger to hold it down. Come on. There. Okay. Something like that. Oh my goodness. All right. There we go. So my idea was that this bow it's a marshmallow the bow was going to sort of hide some of the the stems from the card we'll see we'll see that was the plan anyway let's see how that works <laughs> there's always a plan So it's okay if this one goes off a little bit. And then my idea was to put some of these on. Like that. Might have been better just to put the bowl on top, but oh well. I'll know for next time. There, there we go. <laughs> now it will stay. So now let me put some snail on this. And it goes on there like that. So 
that when I open my card, it opens like that. Isn't that neat? I just thought that was the coolest thing. I thought that's a really neat fold. I hadn't seen a fold like that before. So, so there. So those are our three cards for this evening. And, uh, oh, I have my little piece of gold. Yes, can't forget my little gold sprig. My tray, thank you. This is actually, um, it, <laughs> you're gonna laugh. It was the wooden doll puzzle pieces. So like it had the wooden doll body and then her clothes and shoes and things like that. Um, but I just, uh, I moved it into a plastic bag and kept, <laughs> and kept the tray for myself. There, there we go. All right. So those are our cards for this evening. Now the cards for our buffet, which I will post, like I said, later this evening. So for my card buffets that you can choose any four designs. You'll get two of each. And it's $25 or an order of $35. So if you order some products worth $35, then you get a free card kit. So it's kind of a like bonus, right? So this is part of the peony suite. So you'll get all the pieces in order to make this beautiful flower. And we're going to play with this suite in the weeks to come. This is part of the forever fern. And then this is the, um, oh my goodness. Can't think of it right now. So, so those are the cards that will be available on the card buffet. Like I said, you can pick any four design for $25 for your take home and you'll get everything that you need in order to, to make these cards. All right. So any favorites? I don't know. They're all really pretty. This one's so much fun. The peonies to put together. So, so fun. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I, uh, I really do appreciate you guys joining in and, uh, it's so much fun to make these things and, and I've been having so much fun. So thank you so, so much. If, uh, I hope, uh, that this has inspired you and stirred the imagination. And, uh, if uh, you're interested in purchasing any of these cards, there will be an open house the last Saturday of this month. I'm going to have tables set up. And you can come by and uh, choose the cards that are still available for purchase. Um, or if you're interested in ordering uh, a bunch for Christmas or what have you, please feel free to send me a message. Or if you're interested in some, you know, crafty uh, things like this for your decor on your house, let me know. Happy to put something together special just for you. So. Thank you so, so much. Have a wonderful evening and we'll see you tomorrow at seven.